Let's make some quick and easy broccoli soup that even kids will love. For this recipe, I only use the broccoli florets, but don't throw away the stem. I use it for my shockingly delicious spicy veggie pizza. Yes, I did say pizza. If you would like to give that a try, I will leave a link in the description below, so make sure to check that out and let me know. Now back to our broccoli soup. I had already washed the broccoli, but for extra caution, I prefer to soak it to remove any excess dirt that I couldn't reach. In the meantime, let's dice the other vegetables. So as with most soups, my base is always onions, celery, and carrots. I'm using shallots for this, which should be finely diced. The same goes for the carrots and the celery. To finely dice them, it would be easier if you slice the celery and the carrots into matchsticks and then dice them. I need a minute to gloat. Gloat, why? Because feeding my kids vegetables is <laughs> like any other parent or carer will tell you, it is not easy. Well, there's some kids who, you know, love their vegetables. Mine, unfortunately, not always so much. So making soups such as these is always just so helpful in making sure that they do get their five a day. Next is the potatoes. Get those peeled and diced into small cubes. I used them to thicken the soup, but in the beginning, I added them as a way of reducing the intensity and color of the broccoli soup so that my kids would eat it without a fuss. And yes, it did work. Now that's done, let's take care of the broccoli. Ah, the board keeps moving, so I need to put something underneath to keep it stable. Okay, a kitchen cloth in place, that ought to do the trick. So, separate the broccoli florets from the stems, then finely chop the stems. Why? Because I would like the soup to, you know, cook fast. As for the florets, I steam them in this microwave tin for five minutes at 100% power because it helps us, well, in my opinion, it helps retain a bit more of the broccoli's flavor and color as we will add it after the other ingredients are cooked through. However, if you do not have a microwave steaming container, you could use a steam basket. And all you need to do is steam the broccoli florets until they are tender. And once they are ready, transfer them to a bowl and move on to saute the vegetables. Heat your pan over medium heat and pour in the olive oil. Followed by the shallots, which should be sauteed until they are soft and translucent. I'm gonna go off topic for a minute here. So I watched this TikTok video on things that black people do for no apparent reason. And it is actually true that I banged the cooking spoon on the pan. And mom, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. If there are any dents in your pants, it, it could have been me, but it could have also been my siblings. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get back to the broccoli. Um, so where were we? Once the onions are softened, but not brown, add in the celery and the carrots. Let that cook for about two minutes before adding in the potatoes to cook for one minute. And lastly, toss in the thinly sliced broccoli stem. I let that cook for about two minutes just before putting in the vegetable stock pot. But if you have vegetable stock, you could use that instead. Uh, use about 300 ml and have a little bit more to spare just in case you would prefer to have the soup be a little bit less um, thick. Otherwise, stir the vegetable stock pot into your vegetables and pour in the water. Let that simmer for about 10 minutes and don't forget to add the salt. So after the vegetables are nice and tender, you can go ahead and add in the vegetable florets that you had steamed before. Stir it in and let that cook for a further one minute before adding in the double cream. Stir to combine and then add in half of the cheese. Once that's stirred through, you can blend it. Now I know this is a soup, however, I know there are some people who would prefer to have it chunky as compared to, well, completely blended to a smooth, silky consistency. So if you prefer, you can always just leave it as it is or you can add the rest of the cheese and then blend it until it's super smooth. Did I just say super smooth? Anyway, 
<laughs> blend it until it's smooth and then serve. You can serve this with my soft and sweet Easter bread linked above. And if you would like to have more veggie soups with broccoli, then either try out my recipe with sweet potatoes or my other recipe with spinach. Anyway, thank you so much for being here with me. I, I hope you make and like the broccoli soup. Give the video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe and come back again so we can make other easy recipes together. Have an amazing day wherever you are. Bye.